Alright, and hello guys, this is Leander Schaefer here, making a video to show you how to make a car. Now, I know I started a little ahead, but I just had the idea of making a car. Then, uh, I decided to make a video on it. I know I said I'd do it at some point, but here it is. A 1991 Nissan 240SX S13. Now, first things first, the best thing to get the most quality out of a car to make is start off with a picture. Now, I know that might seem like it's cheating, I know, but... Trust me, it's so much better to use a picture. Now, I know at some points in the video, I do make a couple mistakes that I eventually fix at some point, so don't all go rage in the comments section just yet. So right now, what I'm doing is making the roof line, and, uh, I... hold on, I botched that up, uh, there we go. Alright, continuing the roof line... You want to make sure that you first outline the car before you start adding stuff like the bumpers and things. Now, I can't recall if I've done it already. Yes, I have. But to make out your wheel wells, that I find the most important part to do first. Now, I've been doing car making since LB LBP1. I know... I know they weren't exactly the best cars in LBP1, but, uh, yeah, and, uh, well, as you can see, this picture has gone a bit bad. Luckily, since this is a new-gen game, the stickers don't glitch as badly as they were in the first, I mean, the second game, and that, and if you remember the sticker glitch from the first game, I mean, the second game, where it would move, you know that that was completely terrible. At least here, it doesn't move. Now, getting a picture for your car. Now, that can be an absolute pain. Because, as you can see, the picture I took is, norm is perfectly fine. And that's because I took this picture on LBP2. Which is the smartest idea to do, because the camera for the PS4 taking a picture is terrible. Alright, as you can see, we got our thing. Now, what I mean by the camera is terrible. Well, the camera on the PS3 was meant to take square pictures. Here, however, it's not. As you were able to do for the... Now, what is it called? The face recognition for the PS4 to turn on. When you're setting that up, it's set for a more rectangular TV, kind of like the 52-inch I have here. But, because Little Big Planet only takes square pictures, it squishes it down. So, meaning you're getting a very scooed picture. So what I mean by that is if you try and take it straight, it'll squish it up, kind of like a zip zap. But then if you try and take it long ways, it stretches it out. The only real way to really take a decent picture on this is kind of, Well, when I say decent, I mean... Uh... I don't know, kind of proper symmetry? Is to take it sideways. Now, here's the thing. When you do that it gets bad, because it corkscrews it so badly, but you at least get proper length and wheel well placing most of the time. Alright, enough about the picture about the car. Now, I prefer to make it bigger so then you can put more detail into it. Now, I know when you make it smaller, you got to fit all the detail in there, and that's a pain, I know. It happens in this video at some point. But, by making it bigger, you can use the, co not the corner editor, the slice and dice tool. And when using the slice and dice tool, it happens just to home in on the closest corner. Unless you're nowhere near one. Now that's a big problem when it comes to trying to make out wheel wells. 
Now, I know you see me pausing here. I think I'm just grabbing a bite of lunch during this video. Oh, because I didn't tweak any of that out. Hold on. Let me fix that. Alright, I'm back. That was quite a long meal time I had right there. But anyway, back to it. Now, I know what I'm about to carve out here is... I know I end up getting rid of it because this ends up being a small hazard to where it gets too small, so I didn't just replace it with stickers. I know I could just skip this part, but then... The avoiding questions in the future. But anyway... Carving out the more of the bo body detail. Now what this would be kind of is a turn signal light on the top and a little bit of the grill on the bottom. But now what I'm making here is some of the black trim now. Uh, like what I said about the slice and dice tool. Homing in on the closest spot. Well, that's the trouble I'm having here right now. Oh, there we go. Now, because I set up spot earlier, it might be a little disconfused now. I know I do gotta come back to that later, because it's not big enough. But here... What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop that out. And don't... Oh, well, this being Little Big Planet, some... LBP3 made by Sumo Digital, which isn't exactly the best combination. Sometimes things won't work, as if you haven't already noticed in this game. Ahem, the layer changers. I don't know, some, for some reason some things in this game just don't work. Now, I know games like the crew, as you've seen some videos, don't seem to work as well as they should. Probably why the PS2 era was so good, because they couldn't really send updates. Anyway, enough griping. Alright, now, right now we're going to carve out the top area. The roof, as we Americans call it. Alright, now, by carving out the roof here, I can then attach things on, like, the trunk, hood, lights, other things. And, uh, ding, there we go. Time to carve out the hood. Alright, now we're going to carve out the door. Now, it's very be a very good idea to try and get it once, and then once you've done carving it, make sure you have it firm against something, and then press the X button. So then this game doesn't uh, mess you over, because sometimes it will not place your points, and you'll have already hit the circle button before you can think that it hasn't placed it and then you end up getting rid of your whole slice and dice and then you get angry but after carving this door come on sometimes you need to take a little time to make sure you got it precise now time to hit the door trim now from what I said earlier about the front bumper trim not being so big this one Kinda shows well. Alright, now it's kinda just uh, messed me up, so I'll use the corner edit tool. If it's not, the slice and dice has not been put in the right place, it's much better than trying to undo and redo it all. Alright, more of this.
uh, from what I said before that uh, the front bumper wasn't trim wasn't big enough. Well, here we are back fixing it. Look, oh well, you see right there. That's what I told you. Anyway, all right. Now, as these are a bit together, we're then gonna put them together. Now, uh, I might do a mess up here. And oh well, we wrong. All right, make that smaller so then we can blend that together. It's already glued. Good. All right, this is starting to come to look like what we want. Now, I believe I'm gonna work more on this. Now, I try to go this way, and it's like, uh, do we want that? Uh, no. So we're gonna go to something that we are certain about, which is these lines right here. These are just more kind of detail lines. Now, as we come to the back end of the car, which we started on, we kind of curve out how the rear bumper and taillight combo is here. Then we're going, instead of going straight for the trunk, which we try to do there, instead we are going to go for this line. Whoops, well, more of this game being messy. Alright, now we are going to go down to start our rear bumper. Like I said, just stick to the lines that you know are part of the car and not just part of it being a blueprint. There are definitely differences in the two and they can sometimes mess you up, like that one bottom line right there. Not, not there, but the one underneath that. Alright, as we come to an end of the time we can have, this has been the end of part one for how to make a car on LBP3. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video or if you'd just like to support the channel. Thanks for your support and I'll see ya.